All right, welcome everyone. Today on MTG Impact, we're going to get stuck into 150 Zendikar Rising booster packs in MTG Arena. So I see we've got a bunch of people in the chat already. Welcome Galactic Voyager, Nobody Eats Memes, Ben P, Bayou Karul. So I hope you are enjoying your time here. Let me know if the audio is coming through loud and clear. It's been a while since I've done one of these MTG Arena live streams. And we will get started shortly. So really looking forward to checking out what spicy goodness we can get here today. Alright, so let's get cracking. Pack number one. So I like to have a good look at things. I'm not going to read everything out. Maybe just the rares. So we have Skyclave Plunder. Feed the Swarm. Skyclave Squid. Okay, some cool creatures. And a croc. Nice. And the rare is Nighthawk Scavenger. So creature vampire rogue. One plus star three for three flying death touch lifelink seems good its power is equal to one plus number of card types among cards in your opponent's graveyards interesting so are there any cards i should be keeping a lookout for other than goblins let me know in the chat or comments so we've got one of these flip lands here. Those are going to be very interesting indeed. A ghastly Gloom Hunter. Prowling Philida. Okay, Cat Beast. Spare Supplies. Adventure Awaits. Core Blade Master. And Inscription of Ruin. Sorcery for three. Kicker two, two black. Choose one if the spell is kicked. Choose any number instead. All right. Target opponent discards two cards. Return... Target creature card with converter mana cost two or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. Destroy target creature with converter mana cost three or less. It hardly fits on the card here. Maybe I should have been streaming in 4K. Never mind. All right, next pack. Welcome, Jesus Luna, Christopher Mullins. All right, Teeter Pack Ambush, a creature goblin warrior. Nice. Tuck Tuck Rubble Fort. Seagate Colossus Expedition Diviner, Grotag Night Runner, Creature Goblin Rogue. Yes, I'm happy already. Veteran Adventurer. So I have been doing a um, one of the uh, Goblins decks in Historic and MTG Arena. So taking that for a spin, hopefully we'll do a uh, deck tech soon. Crawling Barons, Land. Tap for Colossus Mana, pay four, put two plus one plus one counters on it. Oh yeah, then you may have it become a zero zero elemental creature from twenty turn it's still land. Fair enough. So the good old turning lands into creatures mechanic is back. Expedition champion, disenchant, Hagra Constrictor. Interesting. Plus one plus one counters could be a thing. Strength of Solidarity. Lithoform Blight. Concerted Defense and Inscription of Abundance. So kicker two and a green. If it was kicked, choose. So uh, you got put two plus one plus one counters on target creature. Target player gains X life. Target creature you control fights. Target creature you don't control. Okay, pretty typical for green. Christopher says open some darkness ablaze and get the Charizard V Max. You must have missed that video. Already pulled that one, sir. Welcome, Jacob Despain, Might of Miraza, Molten Blast, Broken Wings, Mind Drain. Interesting. Kagan War Leader. So we're looking out for milling stuff. Skyclave Relic, Indestructible Kicker for three. When it ends battlefield, if it was kicked, create two tap tokens that are copies of Skyclave Relic. Tap to add one mana of any color. Welcome to I Love Trash. Nice name there. Blood Price. Tajuru Blight Blade. Synchronized Spellcraft. Canopy Baloth. Shutter Skull Minotaur. 
Skyclave Shadow Cat Cat Horror. Oh, that's gonna be the best tribe. And Nahiri's Lotho forming. Sorcery for X two red. Suck X lands. For each land, suck this way. Draw a card. You may play X additional lands this turn. Interesting. Lands you control into the battlefield tap this turn. So you could probably do some ETB trigger stuff with the lands. Alright, Glacial Grasp, Kazandu Nectar Pot, Into the Royal, Deadly Alliance, Moss Pit Skeleton, Plant Skeletons are always cool, Bean Veil, okay this is one of those flip lands, and Valica Exploration Enchantment for 3, Landfall, okay here we go, whenever a land is spread of food under your control, so the top card of your library, you may play that card for as long as it remains that's old. And at the beginning of your end step, if there are cards, exiled with Valica Exploration, put them into their owner's graveyard, then it deals that much damage to each opponent. Nice. Okay, Resolute Strike, Stonework, Pack Beast, Scavenge Blade, Inordinate Rage, Tormenting Voice, yes, that is me, Blood Chief's Thirst and Forsaken Monument. It's a mythic. Oh, I can't really do the shake thing that well. Legendary Artifact for five. So colorless creatures you control get plus two plus two. Whenever you tap a permanent for colorless mana, add an additional colorless. Whenever you cast a color spell, you gain two life. Alright, Field Research shield, shield Pressure Point Grotag Bug Catcher Creature Goblin Warrior Nice Marauding Blight Priest Acquisitions Expert Vastwood Fortification So we're still getting a bunch of new cards here Got a Mythic Wild card Those always come in handy Seafloor Stalker Umara Mystic Lytho Form Engine, Mythic, Legendary Artifact for 4, so pay 2 tap, copy target activated or triggered ability you control, you may choose new targets for the copy, okay, so it, doesn't it have to be on the stack if you're doing that, or well, probably all of these, pay 3 tap, copy target instant or sorcery spell you control, you may choose new targets for the copy, I see, pay 4 tap, copy target permanent spell you control. Seems nice. Alright, Utility Knife. Okay, Cliff Haven Kite Sail, Relic Amulet, and Arch Priest of Yona. Creature Human Cleric, star 2 for, for white. This power is equal to the number of creatures in your party. Okay, so the party mechanic is here. What is it? Cleric, Warrior, um... Rogue, Wizard, are those the four? So it's powers equal to the number of creatures in your party at the beginning of combat on your turn. If you have a full party, target creature gets plus one, plus one gains flying until end of turn. Alright. Shepherd of Heroes, Angel Cleric, nice. Oblivion's Hunger, Demon's Disciple, Brushfire Elemental, and Throne of McKindy, Land, tap, add colors, pay one, tap, put a charge counter on it, tap, remove a charge counter from it, add two mana of any one color, spend this mana only to cast kick spells. Okay, Dauntless Survivor, Mesa Lynx, Oh, whoa, what was that? In my excitement, I clicked away. That looked pretty spicy. I'll have to watch that on the replay if anyone knows what it was. Okay. Or maybe it's a bug in uh, Arena. Jiraga Visionary. And Jace Mirror Mage. Nice. Legendary Planeswalker Jace Mythic. Four. Loyalty for three. Kicker two. So when he enters the battlefield, if he was kick, create a token. It's a copy of Jace Mirror Mage, except it's not legendary. And it's starting loyalty is one. Is plus one. Scry two. Draw a card and reveal it. Remove. Oh, okay. Zero ability. Draw a card and reveal it. Remove a number of loyalty counters equal to that card's command amount across from Jace Mirror Mage. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, Territorial Scythe, Cat, Skyclave, Sentinel, Smite Monstrous, Base Camp, and Swarm Shambler. Enters battlefield with a plus one plus one counter on it. Whenever a creature you control with a counter on it becomes a target of a spell and opponent controls, create a 1-1 one, one green insect creature token. And for one tap, put a plus one plus one counter on it. Okay. Uh, next up, Royal Eruption Nimana Skitter Snake. What on earth? Angel Heart Protector, Relic Golem, and Grackmore Skyclave Ravager. That is cool. Enters battlefield with three plus one plus one counters on it. Whenever another creature you control dies, if it had a plus one plus one counter on it, okay, put a plus one plus one counter on him. When he dies, create an XX black and green Hydra creature token where X is the number of plus one plus one. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Hydras are a thing. I've got a few more people in the chat here. Welcome, Mohammed Ashraf, Symphony of Death, Finn Sutton, Nahiri's Binding, McKindy Ox, Blood Beckoning, Risen Riptide, Sure Footed Infiltrator, and Orin Reef Ooze. Creature Ooze, 2 2 for 3. So when it ends, Bedford, put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on target creature control. Whenever it attacks, put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on each attacking creature with a plus 1 plus 1 counter on it. Aha! Uh -huh. So in the chat, Gouda Hill says it was a card called Ashaya Soul of the Wild. Alright, so that was the mythic we pulled. And what is up with this adventurous music? Is it because I'm hovering over the pack? Yeah. Huh. Alright, Scale the Heights, Cliff Haven, Soul Sword, and Maddening Cacophony. Sorcery for two, kick a three in the blue, each opponent mills eight cards. Yes, if this spell was kicked instead of each opponent mills half their library, round it up. You know there's going to be a deck tech about this one, don't you? Milling is fun. All right, Core Celebrant, Rock Slide Sorcerer, and Roiling Vortex. So enchantment for two at the beginning of each player's upkeep. It does one damage to them. Whenever a player casts a spell, if no mana was spent to cast that spell, Roiling Vortex deals five damage to that player. Good way to punish the opponent for not spending their mana. Pay red, your opponents can't gain life this turn. Interesting. That's going to come in very handy in the red decks. Cleric of Chill Depths, Dauntless Unity, Lull Mages Familiar, and Morag, Fury of Akum, Legendary Creature Minotaur, Warrior 6646. Six, six. Each creature you control gets plus one plus zero for each time it's attacked this turn. So there's landfall. Whenever a land enters battlefield under your control, if it's your main phase, there's an additional combat phase after this phase. Beginning of that combat, untap all creatures you control. Interesting. Another one with a lot of possibilities. Okay, negate. Tazim Raptor, deliberate. Floating above the landscape there. And a Tejuru Paragon, creature elf 322. Is also a cleric, rogue, warrior, and wizard. So is this your whole party in one? Kicker for three. When it enters battlefield, if it's kicked, reveal the top six cards of your library. You may put a card that shares a creature type with it from among them into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. Okay, so any of those goes in your hand. Any of those creature types. Alright, Bubble Snare. Tazim Royal Mage, Dreadworm, Kabira Takedown, and Ruin Crab. Never land and spade foot under your control. Each opponent mills three cards. Okay, another component to a mill deck. And a Maria's Call, Mythic Sorcery, 4 7, create 2 4 4 White Angel Warrior Creature Tokens with Flying. Non-angel creatures you control gain indestructible until your next turn. Okay, and then if it's a land enters the battlefield, you may pay two or three life. 
If you don't, enter battlefield tapped. Okay, so that's pretty standard for those. Alright, practice tactics. Thundering Spark Mage, Spike Field Hazard, and Ondu Inversion Destroy All Non Land Permanents. Okay, another one of those flip cards. Alright, Miraza Brute, Cunning Geyser Mage, Malakir Blood Priest. Mara Wizard and yes a wild card right to reclaim the waste roost of drakes okay spits out the drake token soaring thought thief and coveted prize so sorcery for five spell cost one less cast for each creature in your party switch your library for put it into your hand shuffle your library if you have a full party May cast the spell with command mana cost four or less from your hand without paying its mana cost. All right. Okay, Expedition Skulker, Farsight Adept, Ardent Electromancer, Spring Mantle Cleric, Ravager's Mace, and Null Priest of Oblivion, Creature Vampire Cleric. Cool artwork. 2 1 for 2. Menace, lifelink, kicker 3 and black. So when it ends the battlefield, if it's kit, return type creature card from your graveyard to your battlefield. Alright. Pretty standard effect there. Alright. Song Mad Treachery. <laughs> Gain control of target creature. Vanquish the weak. And a clear water pathway. Okay, so blue or black. Alright, nice. Mind Carver. There is a heavy metal card. And Aura Skyclave Hierophant. So I think this was one of the uh, promo cards they're giving out. The the uh, Is it buy a box or if you just participate in pre-release or something? Legendary creature core cleric 3 3 for 4 lifelink. So, whenever it or another cleric you control dies, turn target cleric card with lesser command amount across from your graveyard to the battlefield. Always good. Welcome, Geek Halotl. Yeah, we pulled a bunch of mythics, including a Jace. And there was one card I clicked on. What was that? Ashaya Soul of the Wild. We missed out on that, but somebody. Freeze frame the video and caught it. Scorch Rider, Sajiri Shelter. Creature you control gains protection on color of choice to turn. Okay. And Skyclave Apparition. Creature core spirit 2 2 for 3. When it enters the battlefield, it's up to one target non land, non token permanent you don't control with convert a mana cost 4 or less. When it leaves the battlefield, that sword card's owner creates an XX blue illusion creature token where X is a converted mana cost of the exiled card. Zulaport Duelist Kazul's Fury. Ooh, deals damage equal to the sacrifice creature's power to any target. Nice. Malakia Rebirth. That's sort of spooky. Rolling Vortex. Okay, so if we've already. Uh, pulled a card here. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on it. Yeah, Jacob, we got the Lithform engine. That looks pretty cool. Seagate Banneret, a Coom Warrior. Okay. And the Hydra again. He looks pretty cool. Gonna have to do a Hydra deck. Attended Healer. Okay, spits out. Did that just meow at me? Uh, creates 1-1 one, one white cat creature token whenever you gain life the first time each turn. Alright. Valakut Awakening Instant for 3. Put any number of cards from your hand on the bottom of your library. Then draw that many cards plus 1. Okay. Good way to dump a bad hand. We've got the Scavenger again. So we're going to speed up a little more as we skip over things we've already seen. Sizzling Barrage, Merfolk, Falconer, 
An Omnath Locus of Creation. Nice. 4-4 four, four for 4. Very colourful there. Enters battlefield. Draw a card. Has landfall. So you gain 4 life if it's first time a spell is resolved this turn. If it's the second time, add each of those colours. If it's the third time, it deals 4 damage to each opponent and each planeswalker you don't control. Interesting. Welcome, Jay Xing. All right, Rabid Bite, Merfolk Wind Robber, and Skyclave GOP. Yeah, I'll have to try out that uh, Fling deck. Is Fling still legal? I can't remember. Was that M20 or M21? Myriad Construct, Artifact Creature Construct 4-4 four, four for 4, kick a 3 if it's kicked. Enters battlefield with a plus 1 plus 1 count on it for each non-basic land or opponent's control. Okay. And when it becomes a target of a spell, sack it, create a number of 1-1 one, one colors. Construct artifact creature tokens equal to its power. All right. So tokens, spit out those tokens. Yeah, the double-sided lands are pretty cool. Um, I've seen decks where it looks like there's no lands and it's just those uh, flip cards. So that's going to be interesting to see what effect that has. Fisher Wizard, creature... Goblin Wizard, nice. Pyroclastic Hellion. Discard a card if you do. Okay, so he's just pretty simple. Discard and draw. Nimble Trap Finder. Creature Him Rogue 2 1 for 2. So it can't be blocked if you add another Cleric Rogue Warrior or Wizard into the battlefield under your control this turn. At the beginning of combat on your turn, you have a full party creature. So you control gain. Whenever this creature does combat damage to a player, draw a card until end of turn. Okay. Gnarled Colony. Bright Climb Pathway. Okay, one of those flip lands there. Skyclave Cleric. Another flip land. And this is Zendikon. Relic Axe and Archon of Ameria. Creature Archon 2 3 for 3. Flying. Each player can't cast more than one spell each turn. Non-basic lands your opponent's control into the battlefield tapped. <laughs> nice. So is anyone participating in pre-release this weekend? Um, personally, I'll be going to the game store picking up a bunch of pre-release packs for a video or two this weekend, along with some draft boxes. Alright, County Ambush. That's pretty cool. Sneaking Guide. Goblin Rogue. Now, Kargan and Intimidator. Spoils of Adventure. Zoff Blood Bog, Zoff Consumption. What? And Pylath World Sculptor. Literary Creature Elemental 5 5 for 6. So when it enters Battlefield Credit, is there one green plant creature for each basic land you control? Whenever a land is spread food under your control, put four plus one plus one counters on target plant you control. That could get out of control pretty quick. So we are doing pretty well so far. Got a Salundi Vision. Okay. Keeping an eye out for goblins and mill cards, I think. Vastwood Surge, Trap Finder, Galactic Voyager says, how do you think YouTube live streams are? Do you like the format as a creator or not? I think it's pretty cool. I like being able to stream direct from my phone when I do the uh, patron snap packs each month. That's very nice indeed. Dory Ruins and... Zareth Sand the Trickster, Legendary Creature, Merfolk Rogue, 4-4 four, four, for 5. Flash 2, blue and black, return an unblocked attacking rogue you control to its owner's hand. Put Zareth Sand Trickster from your hand onto the battlefield, tapped and attacking. Whenever it was combat damage to play, you may put target permanent card from that player's graveyard onto the battlefield under your control. I know, like that. Very nice. Alright, Gomafada Vanguard, P3 
Head Tactician and Glass Pool Mimic. Okay, I think this uh, this must have been one of the um, renewal gifts they gave me. So I think I remember this. Creature Shapeshifter Rogue 0, zero for 3. May have it enter that field as a copy of a creature you control, except it's a Shapeshifter Rogue in addition to its other types. Ooh. Or it's a land. All right. Okay. Seagate Restoration Mythic. Sorcery for seven. Draw cards equal to the number of cards in your hand plus one. You have no maximum hand size for the rest of the game. That could be abused. Seagate Reborn. Land as it enters the battlefield. You may pay three life. If you don't, it enters the battlefield tapped. Okay. What other goodies do we have here? Kite Sail Cleric. Skyclave Apparition. We've seen that one before. Okay, subtle Strike. Canyon Jerboa. I like that creature. Mouse. One, two for three. Landfall. Whenever a land and spell for under your control creature, you control get plus one, plus one, two end of turn. I like it. And a Scoot Swarm. Landfall, whenever a land and spell fruit under your control, create a 1 1 green insect creature token. If you control six or more lands, create a token that's a copy of Scoot Swarm instead. Oh, wow. So you're going to have tons of insects swarming everywhere uh, in no time with that one. Definitely think green has a lot of goodies in this set. Expedition Healer. Kazandu Mammoth, pardon me. Creature Elephant 3-3 three, three for 3. Landfall whenever land and spade for under your control. He gets plus 2, plus 2 until end of turn. Okay, enters tapped for the land part. Okay, Living Tempest, Kabiru Outrider. Thieving Skydiver, Critch Murfolk Rogue, 2 1 for 2, Flying Kicker X. X can't be 0, by the way. When it enters Battlefield if it's kit, gain control of target artifact with command amount across X or less. If that artifact is an equipment, attach it to Thieving Skydiver. I like that uh, flavor there, that mechanic. Drainer's Silencer, Iridescent Horn Beetle. An inscription of abundance. Okay, so I think we saw that one earlier. So we've done our 50 packs. Things are going to speed up a bit. Mag Maddening Cacophony, we saw that one. Valakut Exploration. Got a Windrider Wizard. Wild card. Tazri Beacon of Unity. Legendary creature whom warrior 4 6 for 5. Spell cost 1 less to cast for each creature in your party. Pay uh, that microscopic. What is that? Two sets of 4 or one of each of those colors. Look at the top 6 cards. Your library and roll up to 2 cleric, rogue, warrior, wizard, and or ally cards from among them. Put them into your hand. The rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. Okay, so you pay that and you get all those. Okay. Seems good. Alright. Skyclave Pickaxe. Hagra Mauling. Costs one less to cast. If an opponent controls no basic lands, destroy a target creature. Anti-cognition. It's just a cancel. Here we go. Here's the one that came up earlier. Mythic. Legendary creature elemental star star for five. So it's power and toughness are each equal to the number of lands you control. Craziness. Non-token creatures you control are forest lands in addition to their other types. What? So that means... They're still fit. So you can treat them as lands and they count towards the uh, power and toughness. That is pretty crazy. T 
Turn Timber Ascetic. Leyline Tyrant Creature Dragon. Yes. 4-4 four, four, for 4. Flying. You don't lose unspent red mana as steps and phases end. When it dies, you may pay any amount of red. When you do it, deals that much damage to any target. Very cool. Does a lot of damage on his way out. Valakut Awakening. Got a nice Mythic Wild card. Can never have too many of those. Oh, Inscription of Insight. Kicker 2 and 2 blue. Choose 1. If the spell is kicked, choose any number instead. Return up 2 target creatures to the owner's hand. Scry 2, then draw 2 cards. Or target player creates an X. That's blue illusion creature token where X is the number of cards in their hand. Okay. Needle Verge Pathway. So another color flip land. Magmatic Channeler, Creature Human Wizard, 1, 3 for 2. As long as there are 4 or more instant and or sorcery cards in your graveyard, it gets plus 3, plus 1. Okay, so it becomes a 4-4. Four, four. Tap, discard a card, it's the top 2 cards of your library, then choose one of them. You may play that card this turn. Raza Root Grazer, Creature Beast. Pardon me, Yashan, Implacable Earth, Legendary Creature, Elemental Boar, Giant Piggy, 4-4 four, four for 4, so when it ends battlefield, search your library for basic forest card and basic planes, reveal them, put them into your hand, and shuffle your library players, can't pay life or sacrifice non-land permanents to cast spells or activate abilities, uh, that would screw up uh, that second part there, would screw up uh, parts of the goblin deck. Wayward Guide Beast, Creature Beast 2-2 two, two for a single red, Trample Haste, whenever it does come at damage to play, return a land you control to its owner's hand. Alright. Cascade Seer, and Linvala, Shield of Seagate, Legendary Creature Angel Wizard, 3-3 three, three for 3. So it has flying at the beginning of combat on your turn. If you have a full party, choose target non-land permanent and opponent controls until your next turn. It can't attack or block and its activated abilities can't be activated. Sack Linvala, choose hexproof or indestructible creatures you control. Gain that ability until end of turn. Oh, nice. Okay, Nimana Skydancer. Seagate Restoration Mythic. Relic Vial. Zagreus Thief of Heartbeats. That sounds a bit sinister. Legendary Creature Vampire Rogue. 4-4 four, four, for 6 in the Rakdos Colors. Nice. Flying Death Touch. Haste. Spell cost 1. Let's cast for each creature in your party. Other creature you control. Have Death Touch. I like that. Never creature you control does combat damage to a Planeswalker. Destroy that Planeswalker. Very cool indeed. That ought to take care of a lot of those pesky planeswalkers. Akum Hellhound, Elemental Dog, Journey to Oblivion. And this bloke again, good. Halfway to a playset. And the Awakening. Got the Balagad Recovery, Thundering Rebuke. And another Mythic Wild card. And what are people most excited for as far as the booster boxes? Uh, you're interested in the draft boosters or the um, set boosters? Let me know in the comments or chat. Fearless Fledgling. <laughs> Love that artwork. Creature Griffin. Landfall. Whenever a land ends, but for it under your control, put a plus one, plus one counter on Fearless Fledgling. It gains flying until end of turn. That's fun. The last pull. Mimic again. Alright. Confounding Conundrum Enchantment for 2. 
When it enters the battlefield, draw a card. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under an opponent's control, if that player had another land enter the battlefield under their control this turn, they return a land they control to its owner's hand. Yeah, that will help screw up those uh, green decks. Welcome, Bad Boy Gaming and David Dallaire. Yeah, let's see a Nissa. I haven't seen a Nissa yet. Palaka Predation. Linvala. And a Goblin Rogue. Nice. A set with goblins is okay in my book. Oh, pardon me. Must have been dinner. Uh, Charix the Raging Isle. Legendary Creature. Leviathan Crab. Zero seventeen. 17 What the heck? For four, spells your opponent's cast at target chariots raging hour cost two more to cast. For three, he gets plus X minus X and two out of turn where X is the number of islands you control. Alright. Have to do some mathematics in my head. So we've got one vote for the set boosters so far. We've got a vine gecko and magmatic channeler. So I've got a, about a case and a half of set boosters on order. Um, the patrons, I think, vastly preferred those to the draft boosters. So, getting a few less draft boosters. Hopefully, the LGSs can stock them in time. I think the set boosters are going to get next week. Mall of the Skyclaves. Artifact equipment for three. When it ends the field, touch the target creature you control. Equip creature gets plus two, plus two, and has flying on first strike. Equip for two and two white. Alright, seems decent. Skyclave Shade. Creature Shade 3 1 for 2. Kick a 2 and a black. Can't block. If it's kicked, enter the battlefield with 2 plus 1 plus 1 counters on it. Alright. Landfall. Whenever land enters the battlefield under your control, if Skyclave Shade is in your graveyard and it's your turn, you may cast it from your graveyard this turn. Alright. I like that ability. David Delaire. There have been many crazy pulls. Lots of mythics. And lots of crazy sound effects. It's uh, remarkable how many different snarls and things they can come up with. Shadow Stinger. And of course the gross ooze sound. Which will be uh, cracking open secret layer ooze whenever that is released. Probably 2025 or something. Taunting Arbormage and another wild card. So things are speeding up now. Zandu Stomper, Allied Assault, Crag Plate Baloth, Creature B6647, Hexproof Haste Kicker 2 and a green. Can't be counted if it was kicked to end Spurfield with 4 plus 1 plus 1 counters on it. Good deal. Okay, got Scavenger. Charix again. Pardon me. Black Bloom Rogue. Okay. Felidar Retreat Enchantment for four. This is interesting. Whenever land and a battlefield under your control, choose one credit to two white cat beast creature token. Nice. Cat Tribal is back. Put a plus one plus one counter on each creature you control. Those creatures gain vigilance until end of turn. All right. <coughs> And another Tazri. Cleansing Wildfire. Rolling Regrowth. Oh, wait. Destroy target land. Oh, but the controller puts basic land onto battlefield. Tap, shuffle over. Okay, so you get some card draw. And you can also take care of non basics, maybe. So we've got the Hierophant there. Throne of McKindy. Alright, so has anyone else had some crazy pulls so far in Arena? Or I don't know where you are in the world, maybe the set has been released already. I know it's uh, Friday in a bunch of places, especially down under. 
Squad Commander, Creature Core Warrior 3-3 three, three for 4, so that spits out Warriors for each creature in your party at the beginning of combat on your turn. If you have a full party creature, control get plus 1 plus 0 and gain indestructible until end of turn. Pretty cool. There's that ooze again. I think I've just about got a playset of ooze at this point, so I'll have to build a deck around it. Thwart the Grave! And Hagra Mauling. Got the Vortex. Spitfire Lagak. And a Linvala. Chilling Trap. And a Swarm Shambler. This is pretty crazy. Oh, wait. No, this isn't the one that keeps... Uh, that copies itself, is it? No. That's another one. All right. So lots of green stuff spitting out insects. Okay, got the channeler. Oh, Shatter Skull Charger. Creature Giant Warrior 4 3 for 3. Trample Haste Kick 2. If it's kicked, enter Bird for with the plus 1 plus 1 counter on it. At the beginning of your instant if it doesn't have a plus 1 plus 1 counter on it, turn it to its owner's hand. Okay, so you either kick it. I guess you can have it bounce out. Yeah, it's got haste. Do some damage and then go back to your hand. Inscription of Insight. Grotag Bug Catcher. And a Mythic Wild Card. Okay, got the Archon two thirds of the way through. 50 packs to go. Trap finder, yeah, a lot of duplication at this point. Oh, there we go. Nissa of Shadowed Bows. Legendary Planeswalker Nissa. Mythic. Four loyalty for four. Landfall. Whenever a land and spared for under your control, put a loyalty can on Nissa of Shadowed Bows. Plus one on tap target land you control. You may have it become a 3 3 elemental creature with haste and menace to turn. It's still a land. Fair enough. And minus five. You may put a creature card with command mana cost less than or equal to the number of lands you control onto battlefield from your hand or graveyard with two plus one plus one counters on it. All right. So that is the Nissa. I was wondering when we'd pull one of those. Soul Shatter. Instant for three. Each opponent sacks a creature or planeswalker with the highest command mana cost one creatures and planeswalkers that they control. Another wild card. Racking up those wild cards. So was that Nissa the craziest pull so far? Or is there something else you've seen that uh, is far better? Cleric of Life's Bond. And the Lotus Cobra. Creature Snake 2 1 for 2. Land for whenever land and spread for annual control. Add one mana of any color. I like it. Seagate Restoration. That's the one with the no maximum hand size. Branch Loft Pathway. Okay, pretty standard flip land thing. Legion Angel, Creature Angel Warrior 4 3 for 4. When it ends the battlefield, you may reveal a card your own name, Legion Angel, from outside the game. Put it into your hand. Interesting. So I guess you chuck it in your sideboard. Intimidator. Akiri, Fearless Voyager, Legendary Creature Core Warrior 3 3 for 3. Wasn't that one of the characters in the trailer? Uh, one of the ones that got pushed off the edge of the flying uh, 
obelisk thing, whatever they're called. Whenever you attack a player with one or more equipped creatures, draw a card. Pay white, you may unattach an equipment from a creature you control. If you do, tap that creature. Gains indestructible until end of turn. Alright. Seems good. So, a flip land. Roiling Vortex. Ooh, Cinderclasm. Okay, does a bunch of damage. Good, another mythic wild card. And Zarasan, a trickster. So this one was pretty fun. Oh, Ancient Green Warden. Creature Elemental 5, 7 for 6 reach. You may play lands from your graveyard. Craziness. If a land entering a battlefield causes a triggered ability of a permanent you control to trigger, that ability triggers an additional time. Oh dear, yeah, that one's going to get some mileage. Got the Exploration. Pathway. Another pathway. Coveted prize. Okay, the apparition. Now we're ripping through the packs. Can rip through them faster than I can open the real packs. Yeah, I think it would take me forever to open 150 real packs. What is that like? Uh, four and a bit booster boxes. Another wild card back there. Pardon me. I don't know what's going on there. Must be a bit of indigestion. Last 20 packs. And we've seen you before, sir, and you are not quite the crazy one with the copying itself and spitting out tons of insects. And the last poor mimic. Okay, inscription. Yeah, that guy's pretty cool. I think that's two or three of those now. Alright, I think once I've gone through these packs, we'll have a little peek at what I'm doing with the historic decks before we wrap things up. Stay tuned. We've got a Scion of the Swarm. Yes, Nahiri, Heir of the Ancients. Have not pulled this one yet. The dream plans work in the Harry 4, loyalty 4, plus 1, credit 1, 1, white core, warrior creature token, you may attach an equipment you control to it. Minus 2, look at the top 6 cards of your library, you may reveal a warrior or equipment come from among them, put it into your hand, put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. Or minus 3, deals damage to target creature or plans work equal to twice the number of equipment you control. Okay, so some sort of equipment deck I'm sure someone could come up with. There's a Shire, yes. So that's the third one of those we've pulled. Lots of deck building possibilities here. Ooh, he's pretty cool. Minotaur Warrior. Got the Hydra there. Ten packs left. 
Brazoi, the split current. Okay, it says we've got maybe this was one of the gifts. Um, Ladrina creature serpent zero zero for X, green, blue, and spread for with it. Plus one, plus one counter up for each mana spent to cast it. All right. And if you cast kick spell, you may remove two plus one, plus one counters from it. If you do, copy that spell. Nice. You may choose new targets for the copy. Oh, new one. Fireblade Charger Creature Goblin Warrior. As long as it's equipped as haste, when it dies, does damage to its power to any target. Any Lithoform Engine. This is the one where you got to copy spells or abilities on the stack. The pathway. Lotus Cobra. Kerry Phyllis Voyager. Yeah, I think that might be the one in the trailer. That uh, Nahiri pushed off the edge. More ooze. Surely I've got enough ooze by this point. And this is the oh, second to last pack. We've got our McKendy Stampede. McKendy Maces. Skyclave Relic. Last pack. And then we'll check out those goblin decks. Skyclave Apparition. Alright, that is it. Let's have a squiz here. So I've got a couple of goblin decks in the works. So we take a quick look here. Mono Red Goblins, got the Prospector, Red Cap Melee. Conspicuous Snoop, of course. Wily Goblin. Goblin Chain Whirler. We've got the War Chief, the Chieftain, the Matron, the Gem Palm Incinerator. There are tons of goblins in historic. So if you like goblins, you might want to check it out. Goblin Ringleader, Krenko, of course. Erin Craig Feet, this one's to cheat out this bloke. Muxus and the sideboard. So we've got another three red cap melee, Soul Guide, Lantern, a braid, Crater Mark Maker, Incinerator, Chain Weller, Ruin Blaster, and what's that last one? Let me look at it. Is it going to let me? Yes, Legion War Boss. So that is the deck in progress, still fine-tuning things. Uh, seems decent so far. I had to mix up a couple of things. Um, planeswalkers were a big pain in the butt. And then we've got the Rakdos Goblins I haven't really done much with yet. So a bunch of uh, Shock Land, or yeah, four Shock Lands there, dual lands. Got the Firebrand in here. What else was different? Short Cutter. Of course, still got Muxus, got a Krenko. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you're splashing the black essentially to uh, bring things back to your battlefield and give them death touch. Up to two creature cards, yeah. So that is pretty handy. All right, so that wraps it up, everyone. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. We've got a ton of Zendikar Rising content on the way. Cracking a bunch of pre-release packs and draft boosters this weekend. So I can't wait for that. And then I think next weekend, assuming all the uh, products come in, probably got, what is it, theme decks, the, um, the commander decks, and bundle, and the set boosters. Yeah, tons of stuff. Oh, and the collector boosters as well. So looking forward to all that. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button for more Magic the Gathering unboxings. And be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. Thanks for watching and have a great day.